Hi you all, welcome back. Today our recipe is eggplant gravy. Okay, let us see the ingredients here. I am going to use around uh, uh, 5 uh, brinjals and 2 chopped tomato and 1 chopped red onion and crushed uh, garlic. Here I used around uh, 6 garlic cloves and 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds and 4 to 5 dry chilli. It's up to you how much spice you want. And half a teaspoon of chana dal and half a teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds and half a teaspoon of uh, black pepper and one fourth teaspoon of uh, fenugreek seeds. Salt as per taste and I am going to use around uh, 6 to 7 teaspoon of oil. Okay, let's see how to prepare this uh, brinjal gravy. First of all, I am going to roast all these ingredients first. Take a pan. Here I am going to add first this coriander seeds. When they get nice aroma, then take it out. Let's wait. I am going to take it out. Then I am going to add other ingredients, chana dal, cumin seeds, black pepper and fenugreek seeds. Sort it again until you get the nice aroma of this cumin seeds. Check this also. Next I am going to add this dry chilli. this also see it's puffed out now I'm going to grind it everything together before that let them cool for a few minutes then we'll grind it grind it and then make a fine powder still it's hot let's wait finally ground masala is ready the aroma is too good the meanwhile you heat oil in the pan as well as you remove the green part from the, the head part from the brinjal, the eggplant and cut it into like this. I didn't cut it fully. See, what I am going to do is now I am going to put all the, the eggplant in the oil. It's a medium heat only. First we will roast all the brinjal. Then we will put... Um, the masala and onion separately one by one okay let's wait let them cook first you know for this gravy i'm not going to add uh, water only i'm going to cook all this uh, brinjal and onion tomato everything in the oil only so that is the special for this uh, eggplant curry if you put in the high flame definitely it will burn and it will not cook inside so Cook this uh, eggplant in the medium flame so it will cook inside as well as outside also. Let's wait. It cooks well. Now I'm going to take it out. Very tasty recipe. You can serve this um, eggplant curry with uh, chapati, roti, a uh, biryani. You know, this eggplant curry with biryani is a very good combination. And any kind of variety rice. Okay, next, I am going to add chopped onion. And I am going to add crushed garlic. Salt it until they get transparent until that we add chopped tomato here now I'm going to increase the flame I'm going to add onion sorry chopped tomato and salt chop it until the tomatoes are smashed then we'll add masala the brown masala Masala, the homemade masala, 
Initially, I didn't add water. Now I am going to add water, you know, from this uh, jar. So that's it. I washed it. I I poured that water only. That was around a half a cup. That's it. Now I am going to add this fried brinjal eggplant. Going to reduce the flame. Now mix it well, and I am going to close this pan for next eight minutes in the slow flame. Let's check it. Oh, it's good. We already roast this uh, eggplant and we roast the masala, so no need to cook for a long time. So it's ready now. I'm going to turn off the flame and transfer this into bowl. Finally, our eggplant curry is ready to serve now. You can serve this brinjal curry with um, idli, dosa, or uh, biryani. You know, biryani is the very good combination with this um, egg, um, brinjal masala. Or, or you can serve it with any kind of variety rice. Try it yourself. Like this video and subscribe my channel. We'll meet you in next video. Thank you.